we're ready to invite more users to your workspace, let's do that together. Let's navigate to users by clicking on settings and team in your sidebar, then on users. And here we can see all the users that have been invited to this workspace. We can invite a new user by clicking on this purple button here on the bottom right hand corner and you'll see a pop-up appear for adding a new user. So we can invite a new user in two different ways and I'll show you both. Let's start off with inviting a real person to your workspace. So someone that you want to have login details and you want them to be able to sign in just as you do. So in order to do that, we're just going to type in their email address like this. And you'll see there's some different access levels appear here. So you can right off the bat set off the access level for them. Can view means that they will able to uh, or will be able to navigate around the workspace, but they won't be able to edit anyone else's tasks. So all they can do is edit the tasks that have been assigned to them and they will be able to change the task status and they will be able to mark off items on the checklist and that's all. Can edit users will have pretty much the same user rights as you do. They will be able to navigate around the workspace and edit tasks, assign tasks to different people, edit everything just as you can, but they won't have access to this billing tab here. Now an admin has access to the billing tab. So if you ever need to discuss any billing details with us, it would be really helpful to have some admins in your workspace as well. So not only you, but also admins can discuss these things with us at um, Toggle Plan Support. And you also see that there's no option for a workspace owner here. And that's because there can only be one workspace owner. And that's normally the person who set up the workspace. We can change that for you. So if you ever need us to do that, just drop us an email. Now, the other way of adding a new user is only adding a name. So instead of an email address, we're just going to add a name here. You can set a different access level here as well, but that's not so essential because this person is not going to have login details. They're only going to be a resource that you can assign tasks to, but not a real person that logs in with these details and edits things. So they're completely under your control. Now you'll be able to see on the top here, I'm going to close this, there's two options. So Jakob and Laura have been added as dummy users. And you can see that you can invite them to this workspace by adding their email later on. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. At the bottom here, you'll see the two users that have been invited and have login details to this workspace. And you can see that because there's an email address um, behind their name here as well. So let's open up one of these users and we'll be able to see what we can edit here. So users can edit their little image icon here, set their first and last name and change their email address. Now you see that I can't do this. That's because I've invited Lise, myself, weirdly, to this workspace and only, um, or users can only change their own details. So I can't change this name and email, but I can log in with this email address and then I'll be able to change both. I can, however, change the access level here. So you can edit that later on. It's not set in stone. We can also set working hours, daily working hours, if we'd like to. And we can change between different holidays here. You can also opt out and choose not to have any holidays at all. We can also choose between different teams which teams should this user be in? So we can choose more and we can opt them out from others if you'd like. And at the very top, you can also see um, an option to deactivate and delete this user. I'd really recommend deactivating users rather than deleting them because there is a chance that you might need them back later on. Um, so it's always easier to, to deactivate users than delete them completely and have to add everything again. Okay, here we go. So now you've um, been able to add more users. If you have any issues, just drop us an email at support at plant.toggle.com.